so today I've decided to try something new. A lot of you have been asking about my process and the stages of thought I go through when making an art piece traditionally. So I'm making this video to talk through my process and what gets me inspired. How I come up with the compositions and color palettes that you see in my sketchbooks and, and stuff. Um, before I start, I want to thank Amino for sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know what Amino is, it's a wonderful app that allows you to express yourself and make new friends based on similar interests. Amino has so many features including chats, group chats, voice calls, polls, blocks, blogs, blogs, and so much more. Amino has hundreds of different communities that you can join, from fandoms to hobbies and interests. There's so much you can discover on here. My personal favorite is the Art Amino. Most of you know that this is where my art journey started. I have made lifelong friends that have helped me develop and improve not only my art, but also myself. I've always had the Art Amino to fall back on when I needed some motivation to continue drawing. The community that Amino has created is one of the kindest and most supportive I've ever been a part of, so check it out if you want. You'll always find something there that you love and are passionate about. Anyway, getting back to the video, I guess it'll make sense to start talking about how I come up with the ideas for my art. Everyone finds inspiration or ideas differently, but for me, I don't like to sit around and hurt my brain trying to think of something, so I'd usually do anything, like <laughs> go for a walk or talk to someone or just watch a movie, and I guess sometimes I would see something that would inspire me or an idea just comes to me. Um, like for example this one, I got the idea when I was climbing out my sister's window just because I wanted to see if I could. I fell into some rose bushes and it really hurt but <laughs> that's a different story. Anyway, that's where I got the idea of Aaron climbing out the window and I added the rest of the details later while I draw. I'm not really a big planner so once I have a general idea for what I want in my drawing, I just go with the flow. So with pretty much all my drawings, I start off with the pencil liner. I use a mechanical pencil, usually 0.5 millimeters wide. I start with a soft sketch, like guidelines and stuff to kind of place where everything would go. If that makes sense. What I mean by soft is that I don't press too hard on the pencil just in case I make a, make a mistake it would be a lot easier to rub out. So yeah, make sure whenever you start drawing you don't go hard on the pencil. Oh yeah, also for backgrounds, uh, how I get them so detailed is that I just kind of, I don't think about it, I just add whatever feels would go in the scene if, if that if that makes sense. I don't know, I don't really think about it much. I just basically doodle, that's that's how I come up with backgrounds. Sometimes I would use references like for this window. I started without a reference and I realized that I don't actually remember how a window looks like. I, I, I just like, I googled a bunch of images of windows and made like a, a normal looking window. I, I hope. Anyway, um, after I've done with the, the pencil sketchy liner stuff, I, uh, I go over it in fine liner. I, I, I start with a 0.1 millimeter thick thickness and then I go on to a 0.3 later. Okay, so, so what I do is that I go over the pencil lines and then after I rub out the pencil line, I go back with a slightly thicker fine liner and um, add more volume to the lines, especially places where there would be a bit more shadow. If you notice that m my lines will have kind of different thicknesses and I feel like it makes a drawing I, I don't know words. Um, anyway, after I finally finished the liner, I get out my watercolors and start coloring in. I, I don't plan out the colors, I just put colors down and then I put more colors depending on how well the colors would look together. If that, it's just, it's hard because I don't really know anything about color theory, I just I just put down what I think would look good together. Oh, so I do this thing that after it dries, I go over the whole painting with a really diluted yellowish brownish watercolor thingy and it gives it this kind of old and yellowish look to it, which I like 
Nah, I don't know. Anyway, after they dry, I go over the line art again. So like, you know, the lines stand out a little bit more and it looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, that, that that's my process. It's it's nothing complicated. This like it's not the exact same thing I do every time I draw. It's <laughs> How do I explain? I, I never stick to one thing. It, it constantly changes. Every drawing I do is sort of an experiment anyway. Um, yeah, I don't plan much. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you like this kind of video. I, I might do more. Maybe. I'm not really good at talking in videos, but if you guys like this, I'll, I'll try to do more in the future. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this was somewhat helpful. <laughs> uh, bye.